pretend that we can't control the night or oh, what kind of road we're on or oh, where we will see the light but right now i'm talking to you i'm looking into your eyes right now i'm trying to show you that we're gonna be around the bend All I know Is that my love It knows no end of gold that lead to you but touching them is touching god no wonder i'm in heaven when i'm holding you simple as a song a melody repeated in this heart i don't know when the chorus came where i heard it first but when it started Take you, Emma Jane Horner, I take you, Emma Jane Horner, to be my wedded wife. Me wedded wife. I, Emma Jane Horner, take you, Tomas Karas, take you, Tomas Karas, to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. As completely and forever, I promise to encourage and motivate you to achieve the greatest things in life that I know you are capable of. I promise to trust and listen you every day. I promise to give you the best of myself. I promise to share with you my time, my attention, and to bring joy, strength, and continuation in our life. I promise to be as silly and as annoying and as spontaneous as I am now. <laughs> Even let me get old and wrinkly. <laughs> there are many people in this world, but no one is better suited to me. Than you. The love that's you and me and that chose you a thousand times over, always and forever. I agree. I caught myself looking and then I met you. You became the reason for my smile, my laughter. You became my best friend, my absolute love, and my guiding light. I promise to cherish you, love you wholeheartedly and eternally, to be by your side, hand, by, hand in hand, through life, no matter what. I promise to, have, to share your dreams, to be your biggest supporter, and to always be faithful, honest, and loving. I promise to one day be fluent in Hungarian and not just the Slavics. <laughs> so, now to husband and wife. You may.
There's no one else who I'm ready to swing those knocking. Proudest man in the room this afternoon, the father of the bride. Please give him a massive welcome to Steve. What do I say about a happy couple? I've seen how they are together, and I'm so glad. Oh. I'm so proud of you, Emma. All grandparents, and Emma's both grandfathers, you might not be with us physically, but I know you are with us in spirit can hear us when I say thank you for everything. Ladies and gents, raise a glass for the grandparents, please. Cheers. Cheers. Your friendship means and means a lot to me. You are true for the for me. I love you, man. I love us. I want to thank you, both of you, for giving your blessing, the incredible hospitality, and I apologize about my huge appetite. <laughs> can't help it. Our friends and family, to my mission to you, to ensure that you know how beautiful you are inside and out. I promise I always make you, make you smile. When <laughs> <laughs> when you are scared, let me protect you. When things aren't going planned, let me find your smile. When, you, when, we are go, when we are gray and old, I'll hold your hand until to my last breath. Hello everyone. <laughs> so I've changed uh, proceedings a little bit and I've written a poem instead. So, here we go. Back in the winter of 94, in Leicester town, a little Emma was born. She had big blue eyes and thick black hair. I kept calling her Anna. She didn't seem to care. For a year and a bit, she only moved her eyes. But in the dark of the night, we discovered the lies. My Easter eggs above, little Emma below. In the morning, she was covered from head to toe. Chocolate everywhere, even in her hair. I think you can imagine my despair. But before all the tales of the wars with my sister, here is a story that proves how I'd miss her. So, we shared a room when we were quite small, and from the top bunk, I remember it all. Emma came speeding, no steering, smashed herself into the frame of the door. Neither of us had ever seen so much gore. She started howling, I howled even more. Emma was brave as they stitched up her head. Her sister, meanwhile, bawling in bed. <laughs> uh, so, time moved on and we moved to Beverly, got our own rooms, yes, our parents, rather cleverly, gave us specific pieces of turf. Sadly, that only made the arguing worse. <laughs> it's safe to say what was often the cause was, why wear mine when I can wear yours? <laughs> One night, it came to her head. I said something stupid and Emma saw red. In a fit of frustration, she booted the wall of our parents' freshly wallpapered hall. <laughs> and then I cackled and said, you are in so much trouble. <laughs> However, she is persuasive. I agreed not to tell. Instead, told a tale about Emma's elbow. Weirdly, they brought it, don't ask me why, but for years it was hilarious to Emma and I. Her mum loved telling every neighbour how her daughter had slipped and her elbow had saved her. She must have stuck it out to save her fall. Made a gigantic bloody hole in the wall. <laughs> So Emma went from lanky teen to absolute queen, and she got the best bottom that I've ever seen. <laughs> so pretty, witty, very well dressed, talented, driven. Needless to say, the boys were impressed. Our battles got fewer and further between. We got much closer and now share everything. Know each other better than we know ourselves and talk everything through when the world overwhelms. 
So I had a tear in my eye, but such a good feeling as she packed her bags and moved on to Ealing. Once she was there, she grafted the hardest, both a PA and a boss makeup artist. He was part of the family from the very word go, and it was wonderful seeing their relationship grow until he told me that he wanted to pop the question on Christmas Day and had the suggestion, while COVID meant that we weren't in the room, he would propose while we were on Zoom. <laughs> the moment Tommy got down on one knee, Emma was over the moon, we could see. Thank you for sharing your special day. And before I forget, can I just say how blooming gorgeous the two of you look? Yes, I wrote that before, but there was no chance that I took. <laughs> so, um, gratula alok, <laughs> and congratulations. Enjoy the rest of your celebrations. I wish you the happiest of lives together, forever and ever, and ever and ever. <laughs> Can all in the room please raise a glass to the groom and the new Mrs. Horner Caress. <laughs> to Emma and Tommy. Hello, hello. No one can wish for more faithful, selfless, lovable, better friend or husband. Emma, you are the luckiest girl on earth, that's, that's for sure. And anyone can rely on him in any time with anything. He always puts others first and others' happiness is always much more important than his own. Ish. És akkor most emeljük poharainkat, az ifjú pára. Please, raise your glass. És akkor most Emma és Tomi, kívánunk nektek sok boldogságot, sikerekben gazdag közös életet, és persze sok kicsi kárászt. Dear Emma and Tommy, we wish you a happy and successful life together and obviously a lot of little caras in the future, yeah? Cheers, cheers, thank you. Tommy and Emma. Tommy and Emma. Mum and Dad, thank you will never be enough. You gave me and Rachel everything we could have ever possibly needed and whether that be unconditional love, life lessons, Saw trousers when they're getting half mast and sorted us out. Um, we're so privileged to have you as our parents. Amongst the life lessons that you have taught us, you decided to give me and Tommy some marriage advice, which, you know, acceptable. Um, amongst those being, marriage is a relationship where one person is right, the other is the husband. <laughs> Uh, marriage is the ability to legally annoy someone special with all your flaws and call it love. And it's a never-ending sleepover with your favourite weirdo. So, Tommy, <laughs> we've nailed marriage. <laughs> <laughs> all joking aside, I just want to say you two are incredible role models for us and I hope that we can be half as happy as you at 31 years, 32, sorry, 32 years um, and beyond, so thank you. Um, I also want to say thank you for putting up with my constant texts, calls, FaceTimes, random questions in the middle of the night um, in planning today. I'm sorry to say that that's not about to end. <laughs> we can add knocking on the door to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, mum. Thank you so much. You are literally a superwoman. Um, thank you for the bridesmaids' dresses. They're stunning girls. Woo! Woo! You look amazing. In my spare time, she also made the wedding cake, Exhibit A, um, Petra's flower girl dress, and even dried all her flowers for the past 18 months just to make confetti. So, Mum, thank you. Dad, thank you for keeping her on track. Um, thank you, I love you guys. To my gorgeous girls, you look truly beautiful. I couldn't have asked for a better hen. I survived it, unlike my work hen. Um, the three ladies in the back witnessed me at my absolute worst. I'm so sorry. Uh, I've had nowhere near enough champagne for this. Um, and not enough practice, as you will hear. Um, so, 
I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna butcher your language. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> I mean, I do ask this. Ish. 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 To the man who kicked this all off four years ago, my husband Tommy. I think it's safe to say we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this man's persistence and patience. I think uh, life with me is not straightforward. <laughs> After telling me he loved me for the first time, instead of saying it back, I said thank you. <laughs> I, I eventually said it two weeks on, like, you know, don't cut that deep. Um, but nevertheless, we both knew today was always going to come. <sighs> One way or another. There's no other way to put it. You are my soulmate. I can never be without you, and I love you to the ends of the earth. I cannot wait to go through life with you by my side, have endless adventures, grow a family with you. And when we're old and grey, reminisce on all we've achieved and our beautiful lives together as husband and wife. So can we all please raise a glass to my husband, Tommy. Right now I'm talking to you. I'm looking into your eyes Right now I'm trying to show you That we're gonna be alright Oh, I don't know What's around the bend All I know Is that my love it knows no end. 